in today's class we are going to see the CSS cascading style shapes here what is cascading style shape in the introduction itself I told you about that uh, style sheet is a synthetic mechanism for specific style information means normally if you uh, normally if we say this CSS will help the HTML to look good to display in a proper way with colorful okay so CSS is just for giving the style to the HTML document okay what is the next page um, what is the next point CSS is a language that describe the style of an HTML document it will describe means uh, paragraph in which color should be there and heading what is the color of the heading what is the font size of the heading what the uh, what the table table size table design okay with the help of CSS you can create the style and that style can be used in further tags next CSS describe how HTML element should be displayed okay how the HTML element is displayed like as I told you paragraph how should be displayed h1 how it should be displayed in color what is the size what is a font color what is a font style what is a background color what is a font color okay that all about how it will be display that should be CSS describe how HTML element should be displayed okay next CSS style sheet are called cascading style sheet because they can be defined at three different level to specify the style of the document one thing is we have uh, learned that CSS is used to give the style to the HTML document in how many ways we can give in three ways that is a three different levels okay that we are going to see lower level style sheet can override higher level style sheet means whatever the lower level style sheet if you write then if you have already in the same page if we have the higher level style sheet so this will be override this one lower okay that we will see in the coming classes next what is the syntax of the CSS selector first you need to select the selector to whom you want to apply the thing okay like here it is selected h1 tag okay and this is a declaration okay this is called declaration so this is syntax okay color c o l o r in computer terminology we will use c o l o r but normally we have c o l o u r okay so color is blue this property whatever you are selecting color okay this is property and whatever the color you are giving that is a value okay same way here in the declaration font size font size what is the si size of this font so font size is 12 px 12 px pixels is a value and font size is a property okay so color is blue font size is 12x and what we call all this this is called declaration okay so this is a simple syntax okay today we will going to this theoretical part the next class we will see the practical okay level of style sheet okay the three level of style sheet in order to lower level to high level and are inline document level and external so that means if you write the code inline at in the same HTML code and again you have given some other code in the same document so this will be apply 
this will be override okay override and it will display this information okay next so here what is inline inline style sheet applied to the content of the single html page okay inline style sheet applied to the content of a single html element what does it mean means like if you have given p okay p then whatever you are writing this isl engineering slash p so this is element only for single line element can be applied when you take the inline style sheet i will show you the example also document level style sheet apply to the whole body of the document means it will apply to the whole body slash body whatever the content is here like p h h1 okay b whatever the tags are there whatever under the body that will apply to the whole body and what is the external external style sheet, style sheet can apply to the bodies of any number of documents if you have a external then the same style can be applied to number of any number of documents okay we will see one by one first one is inline a inline style may be used to apply a unique style for a single element take the example of this h1 and whatever you are writing this is attribute okay this is called attribute and this is element so here in the opening tag i am giving the attribute that is style is equals to color is blue and margin from left margin left is 30 px margin 30 means from this left it will give the space 30 px give the space and start writing okay this is a heading this is a heading so the color will be blue and margin from the left okay so this is a example to use inline style add the style attribute to the relevant element the style attribute can contain any css property so what is a color color is a property and blue is a value and margin left is a property 30 px is a value okay so this is inline so if you want to give any unique style for a single element okay so you can give like this next inline style specific format like style sheet appear as value of the style attribute general form style is equals to property 1 value 1 property 2 value 2 property 3 value 3 so on property n value n okay the scope of an inline style sheet is contained of the tag so this is uh, like syntax i can say syntax of the inline style style is equals to property 1 colon value 1 if you want more properties then you need to use the semicolon otherwise no need of semicolon if you have only one property okay next next one is internal or document level style sheet this is second one and inter internal style sheet may be used if only single page has a unique style means if you want to give a single page in a unique style on the web page so you can apply this so inter internal styles are, are different within the style element inside the head section of an 
HTML page. This is very important. When you are giving the internal internal level style sheet, you cannot write inside the body. You cannot write inside the body tag. Whatever the CSS code you are writing, whatever the CSS code you are writing, that should be right in the head tag. Head tag. And in the head tag, you need to take style tag. Okay, you need to take style tag. So this is about uh, head style. So whatever you are writing in style. So how the syntax is, you need to take the selector. You need to select the selector body, bracket open, background color is limp. You can write red, you can write blue, okay, you can write maroon. Okay, so this is the body color will change from white to limp or red or blue or maroon. Any color, whatever you color give, the background color will be change to that color okay next h1 h1 is color is equals to maroon is to current uh, color is to maroon and margin left is 40 px from the left so this is a simple code and whatever you are going to write in the body whenever how many times you will write h1 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 this any number of time it will apply the same format it will apply the same format okay what is the difference between internal and inline is nothing but in inline if h1 style is equals to color and blue margin left 30 if I use again h1 so this same property will not apply to this whatever this color whatever the properties are there that will not apply to this this is only for the single line and what is this this is for the whole page okay whole page or one single page clear or for whole website also unique style so when any number of time if I use H1, 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 the color, the same thing will be appear here. Okay. Same color will be applied to all H1. I hope you clear this. If you did not understand this, don't worry. When we go for the practical, that time you can easily identify and easily recognize. Next, internal style specific format what is the format simply css you have to write in the style tag and this style chat yeah, sorry style tag should be in style tag should be in head tag okay should be in head tag clear so this is a rule rule list whatever the rule is background color okay background color font color font size there are so many are there okay font size and form of the rule is selector bracket open what is this rule list in the rule list there should be a selector because in the previous example we selected the body here and we selected here h1 selector and list of the properties and value so i have two properties one is color another one is margin left so list of the properties and values next the selector is a tag name or a list of tag names separated by comma so here semicolon and the selector is a tag name okay this or a list of the tag name separated by the comma example 
the same color if I want to give to P also P comma P comma H1 P comma H1 okay so here example if you want two so like uh, P comma H1 so P as well as H1 will have the same properties and same value okay so that is a internal style sheet specification format the next one is external style sheet in the external style sheet you simply this will not write in the main code in the HTML in the name itself it is telling external external means you should not write this in the HTML code this should be in a separate file with the name of CSS extension extension should be in dot CSS and store in the document and this document you can use for any number of web pages okay with an external style sheet you can change the look of entire website by changing just one file if you uploaded one file dot CSS and give the link then whole page will be changed the file should not contain any HTML tag the style sheet file must be saved with the extension of CSS as I told you just now each page must include a reference of the external sheet file inside the link element the link element goes inside the head section okay so just remember that if you want to write the internal and external that should be in the head tag in internal we will use the style tag okay we use the style tag but in the external we will use link link tag link r e l relation is equals to style sheet okay type is text or css and what is the reference h r e f is equals to my style dot com sorry my style dot css so it's up to you whatever the file name you want to give just give a dot css okay so this is about external style sheet okay what is external style sheet once again I will tell you this so here in the external style sheet the link tag is used to specif specify external style sheet okay next within link the relation attribute is used to specify the relationship of the link to document to the document in which the link appear h r e f attribute of link is used to specify the url of the style sheet document so whatever we are using here r e l okay h r e f and link this all about three things link okay and relation attribute then href attribute okay link tag relation attribute and href attribute so this is about the external so in the external how will you save the file is nothing but open the notepad okay open the notepad open notepad and write this code all code body drag it open background color is light blue okay close h1 color is navy margin left to 20 px so you can take here p or h2 any command any selector you can use but that should be a separated by comma clear so this is and save with this save the file with the extension of dot 
CSS. So you can write anything like my style. My style dot CSS. Clear? So here next is so next one is type of selector. Before going to type of selector, just I will quickly review. Like we have the three levels of style sheet. First thing, style sheet is used to decorate the HTML code to appear uh, for the good appearance. And there is a three levels: inline style, document level style, and external style. Okay. In the inline style, there will be a for a single line code. Single line code, it will apply the style. Next one is style this is a specific format property one value one next one internal or document level this is you have to write in the style tag and the style tag should be in head tag only okay if you write this what is the advantage of this means if you write the h1 code here so any number of time whenever you use the h1 it will apply the same code to this h1 you don't need to write again and again okay this is the advantage next external sheet in the external sheet you will save the file with the extension of dot css okay and store in your computer whenever we need we'll take the link relationship is a style sheet type is equals to text or css so here href is my style dot css so what is this link link is to specify external external style sheet and relational attribute will give the relationship between link document href is like a url uniform resource locator okay this is